If you look at the intersection in Kitsap County along SR 305, just north of Agate Passage, there's something that needs to be improved. The bridge of Agate Passage needs the first of the improvements. Too narrow for the traffic capacity on it. The technology of the bridge might prevent you from driving off of it, but two lanes doesn't fit the speed of SR 305. Because SR 305 has been becoming a busier street every year, traffic congestion rates have gone up. Here's what the new bridge will look like after it's been built. It's going to have four lanes with two in each direction. It's going to have sidewalks on each side of it with some concrete blocks between them and the road to ensure pedestrian safety. The fences along the edge of the bridge will be curved over the walkways just to prevent people from climbing over them and fall into Agate Passage, whether accidentally or on purpose. In fact, the fences will be started as far back from the bridge as the casino and Reeton Road. The new bridge won't affect the intersection near the casino because that part of the bridge is going to have Angelon Drive go under it too. There will also be a stairway from up there down to the beach. However, the new bridge will affect Reeton Road because of where it's going to be built. Reeton Road will be removed further east from where it is right now and will go under the bridge. There will also be a stairway from up there down to the beach. Second, there will be some changes with the bus system here at the casino. Clearwater Casino is now a new kind of transit center just like in Hallsbo and the Bainbridge Ferry. The old park and ride on the northeast side of SR 305 is gone because of the new bridge and is placed with this new parking garage for more safety. There will also be a block fence between the walkway and road to prevent pedestrian injuries from crossing SR 305. Instead, there will be skyways going over between the new convention center and the casino. The number 92 bus will be going in and out of the casino's ballet parking. The 91 bus and the 90 bus and the 33 bus will going in and out of the casino too, but only by the nearby park and ride garage right here. They're going to have a new entrance of their own too. This new one that you see nearby bridge is where all three of those buses, 33, 90, and 91, will be going in and out for going to and from Bainbridge Island. This lane is for buses coming from Bainbridge Bainbridge Island and this other lane is for buses going to Bainbridge Island. Buses going to and from Hallsbo will use the SR 305 and Suquamish Way interchange. This entrance into Clearwater Casino is for buses only and it'll say so on the sign. The traffic signal here will give the right of way to the buses coming in and going out of this parking lot. Third, there'll be some changes with the traffic pattern here at the Mossy Shop and Shell Gas Station right here. This area will have a roundabout that'll ensure proper traffic flow. These spurred streets from SR 305 are where you can't easily turn left to get out of them. SR 305 has major traffic in both directions, and each direction switches businesses instantly in the pattern. Drivers trying to turn left would be waiting for a long time and it can block other drivers behind them. That's very dangerous in the event of the area filled with smoke or a gas leaking because the residents there won't be able to get out of there too safely. Death tolls from there can get very high and the greedy people in the area would be responsible for it if they don't do what the court says and sell some of their property to the construction workers to pay for it and get these roundabouts and frontage roads built. They'll be responsible for all of those death tolls they themselves will end up going to jail for life because of that high death toll. The intersection of SR 305 and Suquamish Way will be converted into an interchange also. It needs as much traffic to avoid stopping there as possible. This interchange is going to be a single point urban interchange for short spooey with a split ramp too. It'll ensure the traffic on Suquamish Way for having to stop only once. SR 305 is going to go over Suquamish Way also because that's the only way it'll ever fit. Along with that, there's going to be a raced commuter train that's going to go between Bainbridge Island Ferry Terminal and Paulsville. People say that that'll reduce some of the traffic on SR 305. What will happen with the roundabout here at the Mozzie Shop is the traffic will use it to turn around in the inner direction on SR 305. The residents at Laura Loop and at Candy Loop, when they leave, will only be allowed to turn right. There will be a don't turn left symbol sign there to tell you. What will happen after you turn right when you approach the circle, you will proceed all the way around it to go south on SR 305. The traffic leaving Sandy Hook Road will use that same roundabout to go north on 
as I flew the flag, and to reach the Texaco gas station on the north side of the road. The stop sign SR-305 and Sandy Hook Road will only allow the traffic to turn right. The same thing will happen at DeLate Road and SR-305. Traffic leaving Creative Drive, Seminole Road, and Stenborn Lane will only be allowed to turn right. They will go to the DeLate Road roundabout and turn all the way around to go south on SR-305. Don't turn left symbolize signs will be placed under the stop signs at Seminole Road and Stenborn Lane. An entrance to Creative Drive, DeLate Road will become bridge over Liberty Bay to connect to Keyport and the name will be changed to Keyport Bridge Road and become SR-308 all the way to SR-305. There's also going to be some frontage roads in some parts of the stretch of SR-305. Here by Cedar Glen Mobile Home Park and the Grand Zegra, there will be some frontage roads between George Lane Lamole Shores Tot Road. This will help people who are trying to turn left on SR-305 without getting stuck on either George Lane or Cedar Glen Mobile Home Park. Where those roads meet SR-305 there will be some don't turn left symbolized signs placed under the stop signs. The same thing is going to happen here at Baywatch Court, where the road meets SR-305. There will be a don't turn left symbolized sign under the stop sign, and a frontage road between Baywatch Court and Johnson Way. That's why they made a road like this here to start with. This frontage road will take you to Johnson Way or Lamole Shores Totten Road so that you can safely make your left turn onto SR-305 and their traffic signals. Traffic signals will be added on SR-305 and Lamolo Shores, Tot Road, Knoll Road, and Johnson Way to make it possible to turn left without interfering with the traffic on SR-305. With a little effort in the construction as soon as possible, we can reduce the risk of vehicle crashes and residential smoke and gas and traps, resulting in fatality too.